Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me at the moment in Saudi Arabia, but we're actually going to fire over to the other side of the world to head to Los Angeles, California to catch up with Shmark150, who has been at the reveal of the new Tesla Cybertruck. Yes, Tesla have created an all-electric spaceship-looking pickup, something that feels like it's come straight out of the future, a completely different vehicle to anything I ever thought that they might be launching. Let's head along though to take a look inside out and to go for a first ride on board the Cybertruck to see what it's all about. Thanks Tim for the introduction and guys welcome to the Tesla Design Center here in LA to have a closer look at the brand new Tesla Cybertruck. This guys is a really really unique car. I I've never ever seen this in my life and as a journalist in all those years I've never seen a car like this being released. This is truly unique. The design could easily come from a sci-fi movie um, or could be designed by NASA to take it to Mars. The sharp lines and the absence currently of wing mirrors and windscreen wipers make this car truly truly unique. The car in front of us is a clay model painted in the color of the uh, release car, so to speak. And this is not a real car. The real car is driving outside, is giving ride experiences. There are a few details we can share about the new Tesla Cybertruck with you. First of all, the exterior shell is made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. That's what Elon Musk said during the presentation. The material of the exterior body is made of ultra-hard 30x cold rolled stainless steel and is used as a structural skin for the vehicle. The glass is Tesla armored glass and during the presentation they showed how strong that glass is and it's really really interesting to see how much stronger it is than current glass is being used in your current car that you might be driving. Oh, 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 oh. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go through. <laughs> Next to this, we can mention that there is three and a half thousand pounds of payload capability and more than 14,000 pounds of towing capability. Additionally, there's an active air suspension as you might see under the car and under the wheel arch. Um, the active air suspension allows you to uh, raise the car when you're going off-road or lower the car when you're going on the highway for additional efficiency. What can I mention more? There's onboard power and compressed air allowing you to have uh, additional, you know, tools, so to speak, when you're using the truck in certain circumstances. The ground clearance is up to 16 inches. The approach angle is 35 degrees with a departure angle of 28 degrees. On the interior, and unfortunately can't show you the interior here, the interior has six seats, two rows of three seats and a 70 inch in screen on the dashboard similarly to what you see in the model 3. On the rear there is a large compartment which can be opened this will flip backwards and this will roll backwards so flip backwards roll backwards and when this flip backwards then you can have some plates that are being put out take your brand new electric ATV. Yes, they also released an electric ATV which is parked here and during the show it was driven inside the back of the Cybertruck which is extremely cool of course. When are we going to see this? Do you like it? And um, what is the future for this kind of mobility if Tesla releases a truck like this that looks like this and is going to 
clearly be seen on the roads in many, 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 many forms and colors. Uh, and I don't even know if they are going to do other variants of it, but why not? You know, why wouldn't we see other kinds of variants uh, of the same Cybertruck? I am going to show you more of the car. Outside is a sample which is driving around, giving people rides, uh, and I will show you the car moving and uh, accelerating on the streets of Los Angeles. Before we get to Schmark jumping on board then, Schmark 150, by the way, business manager of Shmi 150, currently in Los Angeles, an 11 hour time change from where I am in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. That thing looks truly berserk. The design is crazy. That almost pyramid-like roof line that goes up, well, kind of like the roof of a house almost. What you might be wondering though is how much does it cost? Well, the entry model is $40,000. The most expensive the expensive model of the three is 70,000. The Cybertruck goes less than three seconds to 60 miles an hour. That is crazy, along with a range of 500 miles. We've seen a bit though, let's head back on to see it on the move and jump on board. And there it comes, the Tesla Cybertruck with his really interesting front light setup, taking people for a ride here at the Tesla Design Center. How cool is this? And there is the Tesla Cybertruck and we can see some of the details here on the car. You see the hand grips in the doors coming out. There you see the, the brake light on the rear and the lights inside the, uh, the storage compartment at the rear. And there it goes again. In total silence. Could you imagine seeing this in the back of your mirrors when you're driving on the highway? So we're going for a ride in the Tesla Cybertruck with our driver. Hi, Hello. Welcome. Welcome. And we have a few passengers in the back as well. As you can see, a dashboard which is really minimalistic. Fasten so, your seat belts, please. We have to fasten our seatbelts. So, on a little journey. Opa, click it in. We're starting with an animation on our 17 inch high resolution screen. So, we have a little bit of an animation here in front of us on the big 17 inch and display. Showing you the location we are going to. We're going to check North Rope Roads, do a little 0 to 60. You may have noticed how much space I have. I'm 6'3", lots of headroom. Hope you guys are comfortable in the back. Yeah, very good. Uh, three next to each other. Amazing glass roof. Wow. Now we're gonna have the acceleration. <laughs> Whoa! tie-downs and of course we can close the storage space with a tonneau cover so all your cargo is secure all the time reminding you of the air suspension which is standard which allows you to go a little lower on the highway or actually a lot lower on the highway okay. and then uh, for great handling and best fuel efficiency or energy efficiency then for off-roading, of course, you raise the suspension for, for maximum ground clearance and uh, approach angles and departure angles. Um, a lot more information available on the website, including making a deposit for just $100 today. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you for the ride. Have a great evening. Thank you. And this was the ride in the Tesla Cybertruck. So stepping out again, really short ride, but really cool. 
you can see the inside of the Cybertruck and as well a short look at the rear let's look at the rear as well as you can see currently there are only two seats and not three seats um, but also three seats at the back and then here we have the storage compartment at the rear which is lit as the driver explained and then of course yeah guys this is the cyber truck from tesla and i had my first ride in it how cool was that I'm not going to lie, it was indeed pretty cool. Amazing for Schmark to be out there at the launch of Tesla's new Cybertruck over in Los Angeles, California in the USA. Well, I'm here in Saudi Arabia, but nonetheless, a first opportunity to see the car being presented, to see the latest addition to Tesla's lineup alongside the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, the Model Y, now the Cybertruck, and also the fully electric ATV that they showed too. This is quite an intriguing product to have put onto the market. The design, the style, a $100 deposit, as you heard, as well a hundred dollars as a deposit that's almost unheard of in the automotive industry but tesla like to do things differently and i think you can tell that from the launch of the cybertruck so thank you very much for watching thanks to schmark for heading over to california to go and see it and be able to share these clips with you i hope you've enjoyed a first look some impressions of what it's like to go out on the road to be there for well kind of a first drive to hear a little bit more about it that's it for now though thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you again very soon cheers